All right, so I'm normally pretty excited to do videos. This one has been thrown into my lap and I have to do it. Today we're asking the question, should tomato or Michelada be a mead? Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, what is Michelada or Michelado, whatever you want to call it? It is a tomato-based drink. Now, some of you guys are like, mm, that doesn't sound bad. I mean, Bloody Marys are a thing, like I like that. I don't like those things. Um, here's my kind of horror story. Back when I turned 21, I went to get a drink from the gas station and I found one of those big cans of, I think it's Chilada or Michel, I don't know what it's called, but it's the tomato-based drink. Or Clamato, that might be what it's called. Anyways, I had no idea what it was. I went for it, tried to drink it, and I about threw up. It was disgusting. Ever since then, everything that I taste that has is extremely tomato heavy is not good. I can't really do like tomato soup. I'm not a big fan of that. Definitely not tomato based drinks. Until today, today we're asking the question, should this be a mead? This was kind of thrown into my lap. I um, reached out, or excuse me, Amber reached out to me to chat a little bit and they said, hey, we want to send you some stuff. They didn't tell me what they were sending. Next thing I know, this pops up on the door and I'm looking at it going, oh crap. So I have to do something with it. So this is a uh, 25.4 fluid ounces of Michelada flavoring. Here's my weird recipe I'm gonna try to make. It's gonna be like a three quarter gallon. I don't have a lot of stock or hope for this brew. So full transparency. Here's my recipe. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna mix some stuff up and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, <clears throat> this smells awful. I'm, I'm trying not to gag and, okay. Uh, starting gravity, 1.078. I'm not even, I was thinking about tasting the must, but I, I don't know that I can. I'm just gonna pitch our yeast. Ew. Don't ask me why I'm using Saison style ale yeast. I don't really know, honestly. Uh, it's just yeast that I found in my stuff I haven't used, so. Look, this one, there's no logic behind this freaking mead. And there's no excitement in my heart for this mead. I am quite curious to see how this ferments. Even though it's disgusting, curiosity is very, is, is going to get me here. So, let's put, I'm gonna put my, this is a silicone breathable bung on, and let's come back after the primary. All right, here we are. We are a grand total of 10 days later since we started this. I just racked it over because this started to clear up. I could tell it's done fermenting. Everything started to settle at the bottom. I have only racked half a gallon off because I'll be real with you, I don't, the whole gallon thing doesn't entertain me. I don't think this is gonna be very good. So I've, I'm losing a lot by choice. Um, I racked it into this half gallon. We started at 1.078 and we are currently at 1.000. Now you're probably wondering, what does this taste like? I'm wondering, but I'm also dreading. Definitely smells tomatoey, earthy. Here we go. Oh my God. That's spicy. Is that spice in it? Oh my god. Holy. It has to have... That is like so spicy and not good. That's awful. It's so spicy. It's like peppery. I mean, I'm sure it has, must have that in it. Oh, 
Like you've lost a lot of the tomato and it is pure spice. That's not good. Well, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it, it's only 10 days. Maybe there's hope for it. I'm not thinking there is, but I'm gonna leave it, let it set for a while. Maybe it'll start to clear up a little bit. Ugh. We'll be, we'll be back. All right, we're, we're gonna be done with this brew. Here's what I've done. I went ahead, let it set for a little bit, not clear necessarily, but again, I'm not investing too much into this brew. Sorry. Um, it, I don't even think I stabilized it. I haven't even stabilized this thing, but let's assume that I have stabilized it. I went ahead and back sweetened. Um, so the new gravity is 1.020, started at 1.078, after primary 1.000, final gravity 1.020. Um, I'm a little bit, I'll just go ahead and spoil, I'm a little bit dumb. I should have looked up what's in a Michelada before, because I was talking about, oh my gosh, it's so spicy, like what the heck, that's so weird. Well, duh, it's spicy. A Michelada has, at least this is a recipe I found, one tablespoon of lime juice, four ounces of beer, four ounces of tomato juice, dash of hot sauce, dash of soy sauce, dash of teriyaki sauce, and dash of Worcestershire. Fun word to say, sauce. Um, so yeah, it's spicy. And I was pretty dumb. So it naturally makes sense. Uh, the four ounces of honey I added here will hopefully combat some of that spice. I could have very well used way too much um, the flavoring in general, which I've lost it. Let's go ahead and taste it and decide if this should be a mead. The heat is tempered down from the honey. Got some sweetness, but it's still hot. Grabbing me right here. Not, it's not good, but I know I have a little bit of bias in this and I don't do a lot of tomato based drinks or soups or stuff like that. So someone else might really enjoy this. Um, I think this, I might've used too much cause that's so spicy. I mean, there's a lot of heat here. Um, the tomato is somewhat there. I get some like celery like flavors as well, which is in there. I uh, personally, here's, here's what I think. I don't like this. I don't think it's good. Um, I would not and I will not make this again. However, that's not to say that you as somebody watching this would uh, should not try something like this. Tomato based things are weird. Um, this is just a funky recipe. So should this be a mead for me? No. Should this be a mead for you? Maybe. Uh, I don't know if you like this stuff. I want to know down below though, comment, would you like something like this? Um, is this, is this something that would be interesting to you or seems good? We'll see. Comment below. Um, I've had a lot of fun with this. I have a bunch of other, like, should it be a mead episodes. Most have been candy so far. This is the first one that's branched out of the candy realm. Uh, so we have something new, but I've had a lot of fun. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, my next step for this, I'll just be very honest with you. I might bottle a bottle of it, but then the rest is probably going to go away and disappear forever. And not in a drinking way. <laughs> So uh, I'll probably keep one bottle. We'll see if it ages any, but I'm not, not the biggest fan. If you have other ideas for should it be a meads, go ahead and leave those down below and I will see you in a future video. Let me drink my sparkling water. Cheers.